you go. Ooh. Yeah, you're so cute. Little baby. Oh, there's another one. Ah, oh, there's another one. You know, your brain is like absolutely fucking fried with Harry Potter bullshit when you think about like the animagus forms. Every time I see a deer, I'm like, is that James? And then I just like want to kill myself immediately because that is so cringe. <laughs> oh, it's a little baby. Oh, I ran out of corn. Hi, babies. Go over there. Go over there. Do it. You're so small. Just let me pet you. So I'm on my walk. Um, so something sad has happened recently that makes me want to die. Um, not the presidential election. Not COVID. My bras are no longer manufactured anymore and I'm dying. <laughs> they're my favorite fucking bras because they're cheap as hell and they still look cute. <laughs> and yeah, maybe they're made for high schoolers. I don't care. <laughs> so if you go to Kohl's, there's these bras called Candies. Um, and I've been buying Candies bras since I was 11. <laughs> um, for the most part, I've worn the same bra size since I was like 12. Um, except for like, as I've gotten fatter, I had to go up a size. Um, and since I've been fat since middle school, I've always worn push-up bras um, because otherwise I have saggy titties. <laughs> Um, and it has come to my attention that my bras are improperly fitted because your girl's just spilling over in her bra all the time. And I guess I just didn't really notice until the other day when, like, <laughs> when I took a photo of myself and the boobs were just spilling. <laughs> so I went to Kohl's to buy, uh... Because I was, I'm, I'm at like a 38D in that, in that range. Um, at least that's what I thought I was. I mean a 38C. So I thought, okay, I'll go up to a 36D. Um, only to find that the bras that I like no longer exist. Um, and apparently once you get to D, all the bras look ugly. <laughs> and I'm just like, son of a bitch! Um... And I bought a bra that is a 38D. So I was thinking, there's no way that my titties are bigger than 38D. That's ridiculous. And it wasn't a push-up bra. Um, and I still had the spillage. So, not only did I waste $25 on a bra that doesn't fit, um, doesn't even make my titties perky, um, <laughs> but my favorite bras don't even exist anymore. And I'm really confused because I'm fairly certain that like what I was using before is like Junior's bras. So I don't know how it's possible that like my titties are somehow bigger. Like do bra size, are bra sizes not uniform? I thought they were. Um, cause it's really frustrating. Cause like I've bought like four bras at this point. <laughs> And none of them fit. And all of them range from, like, do I have to get fucking double Ds? Like, I don't think I have double D titties. Like, I don't know what's going on. Conspiracy theory. Bra companies are just making sizes bigger. And then they're, they're, they're like, mislabeling it. So you think you have bigger titties or something. I don't know. But <laughs> it's quite the conundrum. And I'm so peeved. And I don't want to, like, go and get a fitting, because fuck that. I don't want to get naked in front of a stranger. And I definitely don't want strangers to see my titties. <laughs> so, I'm kind of just, like, I'm at a loss. I was just going to buy more of, like, the ill-fitting candies ones. But they no longer exist. And I'm just, 
I just want to die. I, I like cute bras, and I just feel like God has really let me down. I don't know. Or something hen. So, it's like the same kind that I found before, but lighter, so. <sighs> Mushies. So Pig's leash broke yesterday and it really made me mad because I swear leashes are just made like crap. I don't know. Um, I've tried all different kinds and the ones I like the most are the nylon ones. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to buy another one and it's gonna be like $20. And then I was like, why don't I just make one? Because I literally have all the tools to make a leash. So I made a leash today. So um, I might go to McAllister Park with pig um i usually don't bring him to parks with deer because he barks a lot but he's old now and i don't know because I've, I've been avoiding taking him to certain parks because i just don't think he can handle it like he'll just bark and like freak out but his vision is kind of shit so like i'm kind of convinced that like maybe he won't even see the deer i don't know um but I want to I want to walk them, but uh, I need to finish packaging up a bunch of orders. Tonight I'm making um, tons of hanging planters for a farmer's market that I'm doing. Um, so I'm making tons of planters. I really hate making these because it hurts my hands because this galvanized steel. It's like, uh, this is what they use in like, um, like those dog tie down wire things. It's weird, so many of the stuff, so many of the things that I use for, like, uh, crafts and stuff is, like, you could use it for dog stuff, which I think is funny. Um, but yeah, usually that's what it's used for, is for, like, you know, um, like, tying down animals or, um, strapping large rods together. Um, so when you cut it, you have to use these special cutters. You can't just use like generic wire cutters because it's 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 very difficult to cut so it's hard to get like really really precise cuts um because i have these stupid bolt cutter things um not only that is i um i twist them at the end with these things i don't remember what these are called i have so many like little jewelry pieces that like don't have like official names and it's so annoying um because I have to, like, look on my Amazon order list to, like, remember what they're called. <laughs> um, but uh, I use this tool to crunch it. And um, I don't know if you can see the end of it there. But, like, that's what they're used for. So I use this big thing and go, and it crunches it together. But, um, yeah, I really hate making these. But these sell really well. Um, they don't really take me that much time. I just hate it because of the wire. Because, um this wire fucks your hands up so bad like you get like wire burn by just holding it sometimes um because like any movement across the wire because most people when they when they hold a product they're not going to be like doing this or like really fucking with the wire too much by the way it's not finished these exposed wires will be uh held down with gaffer's tape in the end so that nobody gets hurt um but yeah, um, uh, most people aren't doing that, but when you're handling it and taking it off the spool, um, it, like, it doesn't even make, like, enough, enough cuts to, like, bleed, which makes it even worse because it makes you seem like a total pussy. But this fucking wire sucks, and if you fray the edge of this wire, you get these little fucking bits everywhere. It just, I hate it. I've thought about using aluminum wire, which is what I have here. Which, aluminum wire is, like, super bendable, super cool wire. I love it. But I don't think this is really gonna look even remotely as good as the galvanized wire. So, I just kind of have resigned myself to dealing with the shit wire. Even though it's cheap. It's cheap wire. It's, it's not, like, exp I think it cost me, like, $16 for, like, 200 yards. So, like... It's not, it's not a bad price. I just, you know, sometimes I got little baby hands. Dog acquired. In the woods acquired. So, I feel like it should be, like, a punishable offense if you have a dog 
and there's another dog that you continue to follow me for two miles while I have to carry my fucking shitty chihuahua because he doesn't like other dogs when there's clearly other paths that you could go on and stop fucking following me. But, you know, not talking about anything that I've dealt with. Clearly not. <laughs> so we're, we're headed up finishing this adventure because oof, oofa doofa. Okay, I decided to like have, like to use these sketchbooks that I bought. I bought these a while ago because I wanted to see if I could do uh, sublimation printing on it, but I can't. Um, so I was like, uh, I guess I'll just keep them for me. <laughs> Cause I have like tons of these like landscape sketchbooks. So they're like really tall and thin. So they're eight and a half by 11, but they're like thin. So they only have like 28 pages in each one. So I was thinking, why don't I just do two sketchbooks a month, two of these, um, as like just a way to like motivate myself to like work on shit. Um, this month I'm starting halfway through, so I'm only have one, um, and I'm I have I have just been sketching um, uh, as my laser's been going. I have a uh, craft show this weekend, um, and it's a really really big craft show. Um, it's an outdoor craft show, like most of them. So like, I'm not too worried about like COVID stuff because everybody wears a mask and there's enough distance that like, I don't know, I'm not too concerned with, with the COVID shit. And to be quite frank, this is how I can make money. So like, I, it's either this or be unemployed. And honestly, I don't want to be unemployed. I'm just going to fucking work <laughs> if I have the ability. Um, uh, it, it does frighten me, though, with the COVID stuff, because, you know, I read that, like, we were at, like, 11 million cases in the U.S., and I just made me want to die. <laughs> because my mom is uh, in her late 60s, so it's kind of just, like, it worries me <laughs> that I could potentially, like, bring in some shit. But, you know, I'm going to just try my best to just not touch anyone, and I'm going to bring hand sanitizer and stuff. Um, I haven't really done any craft shows since the election because, to be real, ramping up to the election, literally nobody was buying anything. Um, because previously I had a lot of people buying shit, um, but I think because, this sounds really dark, but because literally people are, like, they've uh, exceeded their unemployment, they don't have any money to buy frivolous things. Um, and there's no stimulus, and because we didn't know who the president was, people were, like, not wanting to spend money, and it was, like, World War Three out there. Um, but I think things are a little better because I found this new market, and they were busy last week, like, crazy busy, and some people were wheeling and dealing some sales. So, um, I'm gonna try it this place. Uh, I got a new setup, so I'm actually kind of excited. I, I got this new pegboard thing that I got on Amazon, so... <laughs> It's like this four foot tall pegboard that like folds up. Um, and that'll that'll help me a lot for the earrings and the um, ornaments. But uh, I, I need to do all of these like succulent plant pots. Uh, I want to do like a Christmassy one because it's Texas. So honestly, like you can put succulents in a Christmassy thing because honestly it's never cold enough to not have succulents here. <laughs> we got succulents all year long here. We got cactus, succulents, 
literally all the plants that won't die. Um, but yeah, uh, I want to have those out because I think they, I, I want to make stuff that I think people would like for Christmas gifts. So that's what I'm focusing on. Um, and obviously the, uh, ornaments, but I need to come up with some more designs because I only have like a few, so. And I, I like to have at least five of each ornament because it kind of, it makes it look like you have a lot when you don't. <laughs> but yeah, um, I got a lot of shit to do. Ugh. I have so much stuff to do and like not enough time and it is so bad. So basically I had my farmer's market yesterday um, and it did okay. I made about like $250. So like it wasn't great, but this was the first time that I was trying out my new setup. And I also didn't really have a lot because I was trying to make a bunch of uh, wine boxes before, before like I, I show up. Um, and I only ended up making four because I just didn't have enough time to sand everything. Um, and I also wanted to make more ornaments. Um, but I don't know if you guys noticed in my hand, um, you probably can't tell with my nail, but like, do you notice like that dip in the middle of my hand, like right there? Um, well, as I was sanding these tiny little things, um, I kept sanding into my nail and it hurts so badly. And, um, it's extremely difficult to sand Christmas ornaments and tiny things. And I've been having this problem since I've been wanting to sand, like, uh, like anything from like little pins to charms, that kind of stuff is so difficult to sand. Um, so I think I might buy this, which is a, it's like literally made for like little surfaces to sand. Um, because, uh, one of the problems with the big sander is that if I'm, if I'm sanding something like this small, it's so easy to like let go of my grip and it fly across the room. Um, not only that, it's just hard for me to um, just maintain not sanding too much on the surface. So sometimes I'll end up sanding it and then I ruin a piece because I sanded it too far. And like, I don't really have that powerful of a sander. It's like a generic like DeWalt sander. So it's, it's not even like a it's not even like a good sander where it could really fuck me up, you know? Um, and I'm, I'm using a very fine, um, sandpaper. It's literally like, I believe it's 250 sandpaper or it's, it's like in the 200 sandpaper. So like it shouldn't do that, but it's, it's because it's so small. If you were like sanding like a piece of wood, you wouldn't even like think about it, but like, like a big piece of wood. So I think I'm going to get this thing because it will probably make it so that I don't fucking die. <laughs> um, but yeah, I my whole room is disgusting and it's disgusting by my standards. So you know that it's bad. I have like shit everywhere and I, I just feel so gross. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to be trying to to do other things today. But Jesus Christ. Okay, y'all, I'm driving to Kohl's because I have to get a new bra. I've mentioned this, um, basically, if I don't get a new bra, I don't think I can breathe because these are really, really difficult bras to, to just do anything in the one that I currently have. I know I mentioned it for like fucking 10 minutes before, but, uh, I can't stand it and I've been putting it off and now that the farmer's market is over, I can put a new bra on because... Literally, as I was setting up the freaking tent thing for the for the canopy for the farmer's market, my boob came out, like, every movement. And, like, obviously I'm wearing a shirt, so it really doesn't matter, but, like, it was so uncomfortable. So I think I need to get a 38D, and we'll see. I think it's, obviously my bras aren't fitting also because I'm fat, and I've gotten fatter. So, like, duh, you're not going to wear the same bra size if you get fat, but, um... Ugh. And then I also have to get all of the Thanksgiving food for uh, for Thanksgiving. And H-E-B is going to be a literal nightmare because this is the H-E-B. Um, and last time I was there, not a single parking space. But I got to get it now because if I don't, if I wait any longer, it's going to be too difficult to, to get anything. So 
Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the bras that I got. I got 40D, which seems so fucking huge to me. But I have also gotten quite fat, so I mean, that makes sense. And I always get the push-up bras. And I know people are like, Holly, if you have such big tits, why do you get the push-up bras? Because I have saggy tits. I've told you this. <laughs> I've told you this. And they were on crazy sale because usually they're like $40 each. But they were like 65% off. And then I also got 15% on top of that. So like they were like $15. Like, no, they were, they were $14. Um, and then, the, and then um, they kept taking it off. So it was really like, it's like less than $30 for two of these bras, which is like not bad for bras. So hopefully they fit. Otherwise I'm going to be pissed. I also like it because they have the thicker, um, thingy here i don't i don't remember the band because i'm fat so when i lose weight i won't have to get these big bras but whatever i don't really care honestly it's just more of the matter of like the cute ones are harder to find so i'm actually kind of happy that they were on sale um because these are actually pretty cute like look at that the little lace so yeah i mean I really want to put it on right now because the one I'm wearing, like, just doesn't fit. And I have to go to the grocery store, as I mentioned. So I'm kind of tempted to, like, do it because I do have a button-up shirt right now. So I could potentially put on a bra really quick. But it's kind of a risky gambit. And I don't have, like, if I had a, uh, like, a sunscreen shield thing, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I, I, I don't want to do it in... Maybe if I park, like, way over there, <laughs> I might do that. I don't know. Okay, the bra is on. I took off my old one. So this is the old one that didn't fit. Which, like, okay, this is a 38D, no push-up, right? Like, it's, it's just a normal bra. This is a 40. What the fuck? Why is there like such a big disparity? Like, I don't understand, but the 41 fits and it fits nice. Um, it just shows you how fat I've gotten considering I thought I was a 38C. So <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, that's fine. Um, so I am gonna go to, not Sephora, what is it called, Ulta, and then get the ordinary niacinamide and then come to the store to get Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah, look at all this shit is in my car. Oh my god. <laughs> I have so much shit everywhere. Ugh. They didn't have what I wanted, but I didn't want to, like, go in there and not buy anything because Ulta's, like... I think Ulta always just assumes that you're stealing shit because makeup is so expensive. So I bought this, which is vitamin C. Um, I don't know what this will do for me, honestly, but I've heard that vitamin C on your skin does some good shit. It's just that it's not what, because the niacinamide is like so awesome and I love it. It's been the only thing that's like made my skin not dry and they, they never freaking have it. And it's because everybody buys it all. It's like the, you see like the, the ordinary shelf and then it's like fully stocked, fully stocked, completely empty. And it's just, oh, it drives me nuts. Uh, so I'll have to keep coming back until I can get it because I've tried to buy it online once and I got it on Amazon and that was not the right formula. So I don't trust Amazon to sell it. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep coming back, I guess. I'm literally like editing this video, this fucking vlog that you're going to be watching right now. Um, and I realized I haven't really filmed anything in like the entire November pretty much. So I thought I would just sort of update some stuff. First of all, I fucked up my thumb even more and now it's like a big tear right there and it hurts really bad um, because when I was putting up the canopy for the farmer's market, it ripped my fucking nail in half and it it, it chipped off. Um, so that's cool. Epic. I'm not going to be doing any farmer's markets uh, till like next year. So I'm just working on... Uh, comic stuff. So I guess I'll kind of show you what I've been doing um, because everybody likes that kind of shit. What am I? What is this? Oh, sorry. I was in a wrong folder. Um, so I'm inking this page today for Paranormal Plague and then I have all these pages to I can finish up. Most of them are like somewhat done. 
but then I have pages where they're like completely blank so you know whatever um and then I started a couple different things so I'm almost finished with the Inktober which like I know all of these white spots look crazy but I have sketches in my sketchbook that are gonna be uh uh, filled but yeah this is the one that I really like I posted that recently uh all, also a lot of people are probably gonna like think it's weird but my posting is not the same as the numbers in the book because I am arranging the book to like have a uh, nicer composition so like if it makes more sense for a page to be somewhere else I'm moving it and I, I'll just change the the page numbers because I honestly don't think it matters so nah. It's not like I did the challenge properly, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and I started a Not Safe for Work account, which I, I will share if you guys would like. But the general premise is that it's about vampires. And yeah, I I don't want to go into too much detail about that, but that has been something that I've been working on as well. So yeah, hold on. Let me switch around the camera real quick. I don't even intend to on I, like I think I film myself more than I do and then I realize like it's 90% of my hands is what you see so my face still exists but um yeah I I, I want to try to post more vlogs because first of all it, it keeps me in check because um every time I post vlogs I feel like I actually get stuff done um and second of all that ad revenue during christmas though hey so i'm kind of just like i kind of want to post more because if i if i if i get like good ads it's kind of worth it uh even even like tiny channels it's still kind of worth it um but uh yeah in january i'm going to california again so i'm trying to brace myself for potentially canceling that flight because of covid uh, it's been very crazy in terms of, like, this year and traveling and doing literally anything. So, it's hard for me to really justify visiting my friends, but I'm also crazy depressed. So, I mean, it's also kind of like, eh, you know. Um, but, yeah, I I can only do what I can, right? Like, if people get mad at me for visiting my friends, you know... I don't know what to tell you. I, I primarily work from my house. Everybody else primarily works from their house. Like, um, I can't stop my entire life just because of a pandemic. Like, I, I've been as, as vigilant as possible. I wear masks. Um, but yeah, it's, it's getting pretty bad, um, in my local area. And like, the sad part is, is that so many small businesses are closing down and, that's one thing that I haven't really talked about is that um, doing the farmer's markets, they have been fairly good. It's just that uh, they require a stupid amount of time for me and I want to focus on something that like doesn't require as much time to like make something. So that's why I want to focus on my comics and um, my store and just posting um, online because... Uh, I, I could probably make the same amount of sales on my store as I do in farmer's markets. It's just so much easier to, like, get the money immediately as opposed to uh, waiting and processing times for farmer's markets. But um, it's gotten to a point where I think because so many people are unemployed that, like, there's, like, hardly any, like, real customers as well. Like, people who would probably buy stuff are, like, less so buying things which like I get it like I your girl ain't rich so like I get it but at the same time it's it's uh it's making my life really crazy because even if I wanted to get a part-time job I can't because nothing is fucking hiring so I'm, I'm trying to like like I have a savings and this is why even though I really want to move out this is why I told everybody like I don't know man and moving in, in a fucking pandemic doesn't seem like a good idea and this is kind of why, because I have this feeling that, like, shit's gonna be fucking 2008 level bad soon, so, um, so, well, especially because I live in the fucking United States where everyone's a fucking moron. Maybe it's not so bad in other, other countries, but, uh, right here it's pretty bad, but 
I'm trying my best to still have a real ass life. So, um, because like, what are you going to do, man? You got, you got to live still and vaccinations are on the horizon. So hopefully this shit is going to be gonzo by like April. I know that's very like optimistic, but I want this stupid fucking virus to be gone. So, so people can actually work. Um, because it's it's affecting me, and that's why it's a problem now. <laughs> I'm kidding, but um, yeah. So uh, I, I I intend on posting more if I can, and posting more uh, comic content. So I will make a post on Twitter every time there's a comic update. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, go there. And if you want to see my comic illustrations, you should go to my Instagram, um, which will be linked. Also. The zine will be up soon, so if you want to get the zine, I'm only ordering 50 copies. I might do another order run, but I don't know when that would be. So if you absolutely want to get it, it'll be like 10 bucks. It'll include a wood print. The wood print is so that it won't bend. Um, and it'll be 10 bucks, and it'll be 32 illustrations in a book. So yeah, uh, and I'll. I'll make a post when it's ready. It's it's getting there. It's almost done. So, yeah. So, I'll I'll be seeing you guys. Bye.